Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you how you can use Google Chat on your desktop browser. Um, and this is not the app, this is just using a browser. You can download the app on your desktop and use it. And you can also download the app on your mobile phone and use it. But again, this is uh, the desktop browser and they pretty much should work the same way. Now, what will you learn? How you can have a conversation using the app, how you can chat in groups by using their spaces function, how you can do video calls, video meetings and pretty much chat very very nicely it's a great interface so stick with me and if this video is helpful like it and subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see helpful content that just makes your life easier so let's start well what you want to do is go to google and search google chat as you can see here um, once you do that here's google chat one of the things you want to make sure you're doing though um, where that's happening is you are logged in as you can see you are logged into the right here so once you go to google chat <clears throat> it opens up for you and as you can see you get to see the chat interface over here see it over here now this is the interface i'm going to move myself over here so you can see it better and so you can see your chats here your previous chat you can see your spaces, which is pretty much your groups, and then your meetings at the bottom to the left here. But we will start, first of all, by just doing the chat function. So let's start a chat. So this is a chat that's already uh, going on, and this is we're just using this as an example. So as you can see here, we have said hello. We haven't heard back because this is us. <laughs> we're just using this as a demo. So all you have to do is this is your space here where you could send your chats, and you can just do hello again. And when you send that, it just goes. As you see, that chat has been sent. It shows the history is on. Uh, messages sent with history on are saved today. So the history is on, so you can see that. If you were to start a chat, um, you would just go here, start the chat. And once you do that, you have all of these uh, icons that you could use. So you could create a space, actually. And when you create this space, you have your space name, add the space name there, the description of the space, which is your group. Again, this is just so you can work in groups and then you enter the name, email a person or group, and then you create that over there. Also, if you hit the plus sign, you can browse spaces. If you have the space name and then put it there, um, you haven't been invited to any space, you can create a space over here yourself. Or if you have a space name you want to join, you just go in there. Um, and then it's also message requests. If there is a message request that has been sent to you, this is where you see it. And then you could go there and actually ignore it or accept it. You could do either. That's pretty cool too. If you just, um, want to do it that way. So that's how you do it. So now the beautiful thing is you can format your messages and I'm going to show you how you could do that. Right? So formatting has to do with you going over here. You see formatting options over here. So if you click the format option, you see bold, you can do all this fun stuff over here, you know, um, underline strike throughs, uh, bullet points, you know, so you can pretty much format your messages. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. You can also use <clears throat> emojis you know and you get to see your frequently used ones i uh, haven't used any emojis yet smiles and emojis so you could put that there and look at this you're a gif so this is pretty cool you know and it a lot of messaging apps have this because you know you send messages with all this stuff it just makes life you know make people laugh and stuff you can upload a file over here and that's what you click and then once you do that it uploads your uh brow um your folder that you want to upload from and then you can add a video meeting, right? And if you add a video meeting, all you have to do is click plus. And once you do that, this is the video meeting. To join the video meeting, you would have to send it over here. And then the person will click the video meeting and they would be able to join you in. But you have to send it because I know at times you just say, hey, join a video meeting and it's just lingering. And you're like, wow, this person hasn't joined yet. What's going on? Because you haven't hit the send button. It happens, trust me it happens so that's how you could use this little interface here and see if we send here now if we clicked this um our video call would open okay so that's how you use the little chat function over here all right now spaces if you wanted to create a space um of course you'd click your plus sign again and then it gives you the same interface that it does when you click the plus sign here and you could go through all that and you could also find a space to join 
cool thing is you could set up meetings through your video call. Again, how do you do that? Simple. Go to new meeting and it gives you a link. See? Gives you a link. So you could send this. If you click send invite, it open up your email to, for you to be able to send it. And then once you start now, it would open up your meeting. So it's like, you know, at times you just want to go, hey, let's meet right now instead of like sending a link and doing all this stuff. This just sort of makes it easier, right? And the good thing too, again, is you could just copy this, copy the link by clicking this over here. Once you do that, you're good. Copy the link and then send it to whoever you want to meet with. And once they get that, they click that link, they are able to join you in right away. And so, um, of course, if you wanted to start the meeting right now, this is what you would click and you would be able to start it right away. So let's close that out. Now, join a meeting. Let's say you were provided that link. Remember, we just showed you this link. So let's say somebody's having a meeting and they give you this link to join. Well, if you copied it, you will go to join a meeting. You would just put it right here. You would paste it and, oh, sorry. You would paste that in there, wrong stuff copied there. You'd paste that in there and then you'd be able to join it. You know, so I don't know why that didn't copy. Let's click copy again and let's go back to join meeting again and paste and there you go. And then click join and then you automatically will be let into that meeting. That is pretty, pretty, Pretty cool. Okay, so let's X out of that now. Okay, now you can also, you see the, 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 the space here. If you're looking for people in spaces, you can also go over here and search for them. As you can see, you can do that, you know. Um, you have your main menu um, over here, which when you click it, as you can see, it makes the screen wider. And you don't get to see all this stuff on the left um, here. But once you click it out again, you get to see that. So at times, if it's just gone and you can't find it and you're looking at, well, what do I do here? I'm looking to expand it. Of course, if you put your mouse here, it also does that. But clicking these three bars just does that for you. OK, so I'm going to move myself over here so I'll show you what this one is. So start a video call. So what this is, is very simple. If I clicked this, what would happen here would be exactly what would happen here. See that at a video meeting, right? So let's say we started a video call right now. It would be calling me um, or sorry, calling info at Bizcrown Media, but leave a call. Let's just leave that right there, right? So at, um, this would be once you just say start a video call, without having to send it here for that person to join the meeting, this just automatically starts the video call with this person. So as you can see now, if you if your call is missed, as you can see, it also shows it here. That's a cool thing about the history. See, call missed. So you're not losing out on anything uh, for saying the call is missed and you can add a reaction to it. You can quote and reply. You can mark as on red and you have more actions that you could do over here. That doesn't seem to be working right now. But let's see. Wow, that doesn't seem to be working. So you could do your emojis. You can add your reply over there. Call missed. Sorry, I missed. Sorry, I missed. And you could reply to that too. As simple as that. Missed. And see how it shows. Call missed. So. That's how. Now, let's see if we click these. Okay, now look at that. Mark is on red. For to inbox. Or you could add to your tasks over here. Add to your task, whatever task you want to add it to. Um, and stuff. So over here. Let's go over here. I'm going to move myself up here so you can see this even better. Better. Okay, so um, add your GIFs, so all that stuff. Okay, let's go back here. And then quote and reply. Uh, mark is on red again and more actions for the inbox. OK, so it worked this time. OK, so now you could see how you could do that. Now, if you wanted to search in this chat, let's say you were talking about something and you wanted to search um, in the chat for it. <clears throat> excuse me, you would click the search and you'll be able to do you'll be able to find it out, you know, um, or be able to search it out is what I should say in this chat. So if you're searching for a word and stuff, you should be able to do um, um, that. So if we say hello, see what happens. 
Yep, as you can see, hello again, hello again. It then comes out this way. You see that? And then <clears throat> once you click that, see where it takes you? It takes you right back into that interface. I got to move myself out of the way here. I hope I'm not really in there. So as you can see, this then, um, your panel, um, whatever you're searching for here, goes here. It gets highlighted sort of like an email, and then you can click it, and it takes you right there. That's pretty cool. So if I was searching for a message maybe from 50 days ago and it's still in the history and I remember a word, well, guess what? I search it and it should highlight that, which should just make life a lot easier. Exit full screen. Okay. Um, if you want to exit full screen, that's what it does. So I'm going to move over here. Okay. So as you can see, I clicked that when I said exit full screen and that's what it did. If you want to open the chat back in the full screen, we will do this okay now as you can see here um we're back to the full chat okay and if we do this again back to the little chat now here is what you want to find out about and that is how you can actually use this in your gmail because you could just use it straight from your gmail all right your gmail and your chat you can find your chats in your Gmail. So that's what we're going to do here. And so let's click more. And so to the left, as you can see, to the left over here is what we're looking for. And once we click chats, we get to see a history of all our chats that we are that we've had. And um, you can't show you can't see them here because they're 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 blocked out. But you get to see a history of all the chats that you've had. Um, and if you wanted to use your chat in here too, you could do that. So that's how you can actually do that also through Gmail. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's how you can use your chat function, um, the Google chat function on your desktop if you are looking to use it. And those are all the really, really cool things, um, as you can see, that you could do there. Because once you um, have um, your contacts, um, once you have your contacts and who you want to chat with, you're good to go. All you have to do is go through that panel. If you want to create your spaces, excuse me, uh, to have a group of people you want to chat with, all you have to do is create your spaces. Um, if you want to create a new meeting, that's a new video meeting. You go to the bottom, create your new meeting. If you want to join a current meeting and you have the link already to join it, that's what you do. You just join that. And so that's simply uh, Google chat um, in a nutshell for you. I hope this was helpful. Again, if it is, like our video um, and then subscribe to our channel so you, again, can always see content that's just really, really helpful to you. Take care.